radio transmitter. He made his own FM station because he wanted to give voice to the youth. He made his own generator because he needed it. The generator supply current to the radio station. This is the capacitor and this is the spark plug. This trip is his first time leaving his family's home. This is his first time leaving Sierra Leone and it's tough but it's an opportunity to create the future that he wants to live in. My name is David Moyne Nasenge. I'm from Sierra Leone. I'm a PhD student at the MIT Media Lab where we have unlimited creative freedom. I wanted to ensure that young people like Kelvin also had this experience. For quite many years, Sierra Leone and many other African countries receive aid. But it does not necessarily get us anywhere. We are not looking into the future. We are not designing our own future. Unless we have a host of young people who can think at any given point that here's a challenge, this is a problem, but it's an opportunity to solve it. There won't be a steep growth in, uh, in national development. If we have a radio station in my community, the people can be able to debate about issues affecting our community and Sierra Leone as a whole. I first met Kelvin at the Summer Innovation Camp that I run in Sierra Leone that challenges kids to think about the toughest problems in their community and have them solve it. Kelvin's team applied to build an FM radio station for community empowerment. And people listen religiously to his radio station. People text into his show and he reads the text from people. It's very inspirational. So Kelvin has been in the United States for the past two weeks. I lined up a pretty busy um, schedule for him. First we went to New York, the next day we were in Cambridge. Next week we have a talk with the president of Harvard University. It's a big opportunity for me to learn from people who have experience and to meet with them. How do you want the antenna? Like this. Like that? Yeah. All right. Kelvin had these RF transmitters that he had made and we spent yesterday kind of trying to figure out how we might be able to make some improvements. We use this as a power cable. Okay. This was a microphone wire converted to a power output. I got the, the cable from the dustbin. <laughs> Let's give it some audio. Cool. We kind of get trapped in our own little worlds. And just as Calvin's getting his world expanded by coming here, so am I getting my world expanded by interacting with him. Good work, with you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> For Calvin, his biggest challenge is going to be the scarcity of the materials and the information once it goes back. Here, you can go in and pick up a resistor or whatever he wants. He now understands that there are many people who don't have to go to the garbage, so he has to go back. Whatever thing I've, I've learned, yeah, I will share it with my friends, colleagues, loved ones, and do it as a team. He's done an amazing work, but that's just the beginning. My next invention will be a windmill for people to use for electricity and supply. I want there to be many more Kelvins. I did not want it to be a one-off thing. It's a movement. It's how do we create thousands of young people who are inspired by making stuff and solving the problems that are in their neighborhood. That is my aim, to promote innovation in Sierra Leone among young people. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is David. Thanks so much for watching and we hope you enjoyed the video. The folks at Think and I wanted to share Kelvin's story in the hopes of starting the conversation about how we can all foster innovation amongst young people around the world. And if you want to see more inspiring videos like this one, subscribe for free to Thinker by clicking the subscribe button. Thanks very much. I'm DJ Focus and you are watching Proud DJ.